All right, you guys, we're back at it. John's Moto Garage, welcome back to the channel. Once again, we're looking at a blank canvas here. In my last video, I gave you just a sneak peek of the new moto that I picked up, and everybody knew what the heck it was. DRZ 400, DRZ, is it a DRZ? So I don't know if you guys cheated, I don't know what the heck went down there, but it was apparently a dead giveaway for everybody. But here it is, the DRZ. Bam, there she is, the new DRZ. Before I do my walk around, let's check out the clip where I went and picked up the motorcycle. All right, you guys, John's Moto Garage. I'm checking out a bike and I'm super stoked on this bike. This thing is gonna be dope. Hold on a second. Why don't you count it out since I have my gloves on, but yeah. it should be there. Cool, I'll zip through the neighborhood real quick. All right, Bromigos, Prochowskis, Amigas y Amigos, John's Moto Garage. Welcome back to the channel. As you can see by the title, we are sitting up atop another Suzuki DRZ. This one's a 2016 got about the same miles as my other one around 8,400 miles and if you recognize the location I bought the Suzuki Boulevard C50T uh, a while back from this same dude super cool guy and at the time he had shown me this supermoto and I wasn't really looking at supermotos but I remember he said he was possibly gonna sell it Let's check the bike out real quick. This thing is sick, but this thing seems a lot smoother than my my DRZ. It may be just that it has these tires. Anyway, let's do the quick walk around, my friends. 2016 DRZ 400 SM Supermoto, 8,400 miles. I like the gold wheels, and I like that it actually has the Supermoto tires on it because that's the look, or that's the uh, the look that I dig. He's got full Yoshimura exhaust. He's got these integrated kind of low profile rear turn signals, fender eliminator kit, that's nice. This has got kind of like a sparkle to it. I don't know if that's the stock paint or if that's something he did. Seat concept seat, this one sits real high. It's comfortable. I don't like how it looks as much because it's not the low profile. He's got an aftermarket tank, a larger gas tank. This one, a few things my bike has that this one doesn't. This just has your stock shifter uh, foot pegs and everything this one does not have the ktm look like front headlight or front fender which does the, make a difference for sure this one doesn't have the aftermarket levers or grips pillow top grips are easy peasy so i'll probably swap those out and i may take the levers off my bike and throw them on here we'll have to see you got these front turn signals as well working our way around the moto On all though, it looks pretty dang nice. I like it. It's clean. It's very clean. Got that little pack. Yeah, this thing is dope. All right, we're going back to the house. This thing is dope. The street tires make a big difference compared to the knobbies. So. This thing looks really nice, you guys. He's putting on a clinic for us. Oh man, too fun, dude. Thanks, bro. Let me uh, let me grab the title before I forget. Do you do you have the second key? All right, let's get this sucker loaded up in the truck. I'll take care of this. Let me grab the seat and stuff before I forget. As you can see, I've got myself into another round of trouble you may be wondering why the heck am i looking at another drz supermoto and it's because i just cannot help it the one i have is such a freaking blast and i saw this one and crazy thing you may recognize the area i'm gonna run around the block one more time real quick and we'll get out of here all right, so if you're new to the channel, check out my other videos. I've got a 2013 DRZ 400 SM, the Supermoto, but that one's got the off-road knobby tires on it. And 
I bought that one a couple months back. So check out that video. And this one doesn't have all the same aftermarket components as my other one, but it's got some things I'm pretty stoked on. For one, it has the actual street tires, which I'm a fan of. So far, I can tell you those knobbies I have, these are, these are a lot smoother for sure, as you would expect. But yeah, if you check out my other video, you can tell I'm a big fan of the DRZ. This one caught my eye and I just had to come look at it. And I kind of debated whether or not I'd actually come out here, but seeing it in person, this thing is really nice. Oh man, it will be fun getting out and messing around on this thing for sure. Let's load the bike up into the truck. We'll get back to La Casa and we'll see what the plans are for this bike. But Oh, this thing is awesome. Uh, I'm like a kid in a candy store right now. It's the worst. There we go. One of the things I dig about this is the gold wheels. And I like the black and white. You don't have like the blue, light blue 90 styling decals like I've got on my 2013. It's got the basics, it's got the exhaust, it's got a brand new rear tire, so can't complain. On all, pretty nice clean bike and it runs great. It's such a beauty. This kid's gonna hurt himself. He's a, a daredevil. Careful, dude. Oh, it's a tough gig. Hold on, bud, hold on. All right. Time to get the moto off and i know you guys are probably sick of my clapper trick what i do is i clap and then all of a sudden the bike ends up on the ground it's like magic so we're not gonna but we'll try not to do anything too crazy oh it's such a blast bam thought you guys didn't see that one coming through a curveball so here it is 2016 DRZ400 SM Supermoto, a beauty of a bike. Oop. Now, oh, that was a sketch. there you have it the the new drz the second drz on john's moto garage if you dig the content be sure to smash the like button and subscribe as always thanks for tuning in i'm gonna hit a wheelie sesh stay tuned for my next video i'll go over why i bought this bike what my plans are for this one what my plans are for the next one and i'll do a first initial impression ride review of the drz supermoto all right you guys we'll hit you up next time adios